interesting now. Nagatani, Mega Me. Let's see. Now then, first up is Tina-chan and Mio-san's date. It's too bad for Yuna, but I'm all, but I'm really excited to see how this goes. Sachi-san and I tailed the two girls around the festival. Yesterday was something like a group event, but today seems more like a double date. Why don't we look at the stands first, Tina? Hmm. A bunch of new game stalls have appeared since yesterday too. Like the best of basketball club's free throw challenge or the soccer club's penalty kick contest. They've even got prizes. prizes. Oh. They look like fun, right? Matsuri wanted to do all this stuff last year, uh. You like to move around too, right, you know? Let's let's go take a look. Hmm. And when you're hung hungry, we can go get something to eat. Hmm. Yeah, still not much of a talker though. Mio-san does her homework before she goes on a date. She might be a little like Yuna, the type who takes forethought seriously. Mio-san is very very well put together, isn't she? Oh, Sachi-san seems to have the same impression. Right. There's not a single ch chink in her armor, and that's why Matsuri-san's so frustrated. You might be you may be right. And that's why they are fighting. It's still it's it's is she still oblivious that she's at fault? Kind of interesting to see what Sachi-san thinks, if she thinks Matsuri is at fault. Hinachan and Mio-san went off to the basketball club's free throw challenge after that. They are just throwing the ball at something like 10 prizes and the number of times you get in determines your prize. Ah, so they've got stuff like this today. Having different attractions on the first day and second day is pretty cool. If they've been doing it yesterday, I would have asked Yuna to let me try, though she'd probably have shut me down. <laughs> how is... how... Meg Megumi can't even grab the ball. Oh, when, well, she can possess Yuna, yeah. Depends on how the reception is at that time, I guess. Hina-chan took the challenge and ended up with 5 in out of 10 tries, exactly half. But she got the last 3 in a row in, so that might actually be pretty impressive. I've got a good throw. You've got a good throw, Hina. Hmm, thanks. You got 3rd prize for making 5. That's pretty good, isn't it? Hmm, you think? What's the prize? Oh, a wristband. That's pretty... That's pretty basket... That's pretty basketball? Well, I can't... I guess? I wonder what the first prize is. Basketball shoes, but you have to make all 10. I guess they don't want anyone winning those. Even pros wouldn't usually make 10 free throws in a row. And if it were me, if they got the first 9 in, I'd make them throw the last one from the half court line. <laughs> huh. Basketball shoes are expensive, right? Anything less than that would be too big a risk. Hmm, Mio sounds pretty mean sometimes. <laughs> well, yeah, you gotta make sure. If you go, if you got to try, I bet you could make every shot, Sachi-san. Huh? I don't know about that. Since you can't do that poltergeist thing. <laughs> uh, I see. I don't really understand the rules of basketball, however. Well, they're just throwing it. Well, if you do that, yes. But if you really go for real basketball, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, obviously. Even though I fucking love that, my favorite sport to play myself. If you don't want to do it, Mio-senpai. I think I'll hold off. I'm in a skirt after all, though I bet Matsuri would think, wouldn't think tw twice about it. Uh, how's Yuna at things like this? Yuna is no good. <laughs> oh really? She seems to, she seems kind of like she'd be perfect at everything. Yuna they can make a ball go straight. <laughs> ah, no control, eh? That's a little unexpected, since she's good at cooking, I'd expect her to be good with her hands. Literally, that's what she said. It's just ball game she can't do. Oh, what now? Want to try again? Nah. No. You don't need to worry about the cost or anything. That's not it. I don't think I, would, I could do better without practicing more. Hey, you really are serious, Hina. I bet Matsuri would get all worked up and try again and again. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a pattern that we're gonna see. Like, Inamoto is constantly gonna talk about Matsuri and Matsuri is constantly gonna talk about Miu. That's what's gonna happen here. Maybe? Nah. I don't think Hina is like Nena. Like, Nena would... Like, you know how Nena got out of herself and actually put... Um, Sasa and Ichikawa in their place. I don't think Hina would do that. I don't think I don't think that's like her. She should really think things through more. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna end up um, it's gonna end up um, Hina just listening to their banter over and over, like for the entire time. I think. I wonder if Mio-chan notices. Hmm, notices what? How many times she's said Matsuri's chan's name so far? Oh, come to think of it. It's like every little thing makes her think of Matsuri-san. Ah, geez, she's on a date with Hina-chan now. If she's gonna be talking about Matsuri-chan so much, she should cut the crap and make up with her. Yeah, exactly. She's kind of stubborn, huh? 
I suppose so. It may just be that she's gone too far to back out now. So much trouble, sheesh. Yeah, yeah right. The reason for their fight was very important to Mio-chan, I suppose. After that, the two of them went to the soccer club's PK challenge. Penalty kick. Hinachan tried it out again, again, getting another pretty good score. And they contribu co continued through a, f through, a sl through a slew of attractions together. Today's booths are a lot more ambitious than yesterday's. It's like a little amuse amusement park or sports fair. There are a lot of little kids around today, too. Oh, so this is a school festival. We call it a cultural festival in middle school, but... I never got to do anything with my class since I was always being shuffled in and out of the hospital. And sure enough, I was ill and absent on the days of the festival too. And at this school, I died before the school festival came. Sometimes I wish I'd been able to participate in one, one with my class or a club. I always sort of feel like that when the season comes around. Since becoming a ghost, I've gone around the school festivals like this with Sachi-san every year. Watching all the people enjoy themselves. But this year's a little different. Yesterday. It was like we were really joining in the festival with Yuna and her friends. Going around to all the stands and eating till we stuffed ourselves. Yuna was a, li was a little annoying, but other than that, it was really fun. What do you mean Yuna was a little annoying? She was the reason you actually got to be there, basically. How much has changed since we looked around the festival by ourselves, I wonder? Is it that different just because we've got Yuna now? That's a little annoying to think, but... It's true that it was a lot more fun than just watching, eating, and messing around. The festival's great today too, watching Hinachan and Mio-san and talking with Sachi-san. It's fun to be alone with Sachi-san, it makes me happy, but... School festivals are more fun with more people, I think. Realizing that makes me a little happy. That's cool. Well, it's a little early, but let's have some lunch, you know. Mm. There's a barbecue stand today, Do you, did you know that? Oh. Mio-san's also done her homework on Hina-chan's tastes. When meat was mentioned, Hina-chan's eyes lit up. Well, the barbecue isn't messing around. They've got huge chunks of meat and onions and peppers and things on skewers, cooking them all over charcoal. That looks nice. I want to try some. Maybe I'll ask Yuna later. How many skewers do you want, Hina? Three. <laughs> well, there's beef, chicken, and mouton, so sheep. One of each. Sounds good. All right, all right. You've got an appetite like always, I see. Good, you should fill th good, you should fill yourself up. And you won't have to eat as much uh, when you're with Matsuri. Mio-san's leading things pretty well, despite playing a little dirty. Accepting the five skewers, including Mio-san's, the two of them wandered away from the festi festivities to eat. After, di after this, I guess she'll switch with Matsuri-san Matsuri when they are done eating. Hmm, I wonder what the, score what's what the scores are at here. Oh, her, the, like the score for Mew? Mew-san might have an advantage. Perhaps. Sina-chan seems to be enjoying herself. It seems as though everything's gone according to her plan. Matsuri-chan's kind of at a disadvantage. It seems like they have already gone around to all the things Sina-chan would like. Perhaps. I wonder what Matsuri-chan will do, though. Maybe she has a plan. She doesn't. <laughs> hmm. I think if I were first to pick one, I'd still be rooting for Matsuri-san. I have a better impression of her than Mew-san. Good luck, Matsuri-san. Yeah, that seems like it. Like, uh, she... Megumi is, like, a little more for Matsuri. And we get that from Sachi-san's perspective. Because like, I think Sachi-san is more... Wait, that wasn't... That doesn't make sense. I was, I was about to say, like, Sachi-san is more into uh, Miu, I think, though. So they should have swapped it. They should have put Sachi for Miu and... Mat... No, no, not Matsuri. Um, yeah, Matsuri for Megumi. After Mio-san's er early lunch with Hina-chan, she's out of time. At 12 o'clock sharp, the two of them traced the path back to the auditorium and met Matsuri-san, who was already waiting for them there. Now in the afternoon, it's Matsuri-san's turn. I wonder what she'll do, since Hina-chan's already eaten so much b -b 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 barbecue I wonder how Matsuri-san will come over Mio-san's meticulous planning. Megami seemed to think Matsuri-san would be at a disadvantage, but I have high hopes. I always get so excited for things like this. Okay, let's go, Hina. Mm. Matsuri-chan said, wrapping an arm around Hina-chan's shoulder as if it, were, if it were nothing and guiding her off. Matsuri-san has some tricks of her own, it seems. Well, what's everybody up to today? Let's go check everything out. Mm. We're gonna do everything that looks fun. Mm. 
Tell me if you know there's something you want to do too, Hina. Hmm. Short answers. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's go. Short answers, answers as always, yeah. But so much for Matsuri-san having a plan. Yes, the complete opposite of Mio-san. Hina-chan already got to see everything she wanted to in the morning. Yeah, that's true, but it seems to me as though Matsuri-chan had no concern f for that from the start. Yeah, typical. Told you he doesn't have a plan. Oh, Hina, look, the wrestling club. Wrestling club's doing arm wrestling. Let's go. Hmm, yeah. We're gonna win against five of them together. Okay, get ready. Okay. Matsuri Senpai, look. Hmm, what's it? The brass band? Or tuba carrying relay? Tubas are those big trumpets, right? You have to do a lap around the track carrying one. What the heck? Well, they are trying to show up the track team? Okay, let's go, you know. We're gonna set a new record. Hmm, yeah. We won't stop until we're number one. Yeah. Yeah, just as Mio said. <laughs> oh, look, you know, cotton candy. I had some yesterday. Oh, yeah? But this says it's 300 yen per stick. Hmm, isn't that expensive? But you make it yourself. You can take as much as you can get on one stick. Hmm. Here, yeah, this is yours, Hina. Let's see who can make a bigger one. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no planning. I like it. Let's do some batting cage next, then. They said they wouldn't go easy on anybody from the athletic club. Come on, Hina. Well, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to hit when they are being serious. Let me try next. All right, come at me. Whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> I'm hungry. Let's go on an extra large okonomiyaki. Okay. Jesus Christ, no stopping her. Wow, she's really doing... just doing whatever, huh? Yeah, she is. I'm a little surprised. Yeah, but isn't that what you're supposed to do at a festival, though? Just, you know, see something and do it if you want to? I'm impressed Tina chan has the energy for her. Oh, they're doing quizzes now. Oh, the math club is Kiri-chan's, isn't it? Looks like neither of them have a club. Clue, huh? Seems as though they are not very... not well equipped for these sorts of quizzes. Shall we make an attempt of our own, Megumi? I'm not great at these either. Neither am I, but why not give it a try while we have the opportunity? Okay, they've already left? <laughs> oh, I wonder if they gave up. Oh, now they are buying food again. Matsuri-san's really flying off... Flying by the seat of her pants. But it looks as though Hina-chan's going along with her. Kinda impressive that Hina is actually able to keep track with her. As if flitting about like birds, Matsuri-chan and Hina-chan moved between the attraction stands and exhibits, viewing and participating in every site which caught their fancy. Though different than Mio-chan's strategy, I do think it's a valid way to enjoy the school's festival. Yeah, just do whatever you want. In any case, this year's school festival is so very showy. School festivals when I was alive were much more modest affairs. Just small performances in the auditorium, we didn't have any stands and there are, weren't nearly as many exhibits. And of course, I never participated proactively in them. That's probably the difference in the times to consider as well. Things were a little darker when I was alive. After I became a ghost, but before I met Megumi, all I did was silently watch this school from the roof for 50 years. Even when the school festivals came, I simply watched them from my perch. I never approached the auditorium. Since meeting Megumi, the two of us have, have come down to explore them together. We'd make slow rounds around the auditorium, peeking into every exhibit or sometimes spend all day watching the performances on stage. As we did that, I began to understand the fun of school festivals little by little. And this year... Looking around the school festival with Yuna-san and Megumi, I found the sights, sounds, and jubilation of all the people so sensational. The past two days of the school festival have truly been a pleasure. It's truly been fun seeing all the girls we've nurtured and enjoying themselves during it. Nurtured. I hope these two, two days become a wonderful memory for Yuna-san, for Hina-chan, for everyone. And for Megumi and me as well. Pretty sure. For Yuka, definitely. I think that's for her the most. Uh, where should we go next, Tina? Senpai, I can't hold anymore. <laughs> huh. Man, I suppose their lack of planning is having unfortunate consequences now. At some point, Matsuri-chan and Hina-chan's arms had fa filled up with all sorts of things. Food they'd bought, prizes they'd won at attractions, pamphlets they'd pick up at exhibits. Uh, why don't we take a break then? Hmm. Man, we didn't do very well on that one, huh? Hmm. I thought that it would be in the bag. Hmm. Sorry. Uh, it's not your fault, Tina. Well, it probably would have been different if Mio had been here. She's really good at getting the hangs of things, you know? She'd figure out some perfect strategy after a little bit of practice that... Then she'd explain it really well, too. Like, we've got <laughs> a lot of training programs Mio things up, right? 
she, th she said she likes coming up with that stuff. Well, she's not here right now, so there's no point talking about that. Hmm. Uh, let's take a break over here. We can take... We can let these snacks go to waste after all. I'm hungry. Ah. Here I thought you had filled up on, on lunch, but you're hungry as always, huh? You know. Oh, but it's already late, isn't it? Man, time flies. Well, just have a little break and then the day will be over. Hmm. Might have been precisely the right mo moments. The two of them certainly seem to have tired themselves out. They walked out from the auditorium, their arms filled with, I suppose, you would call it their spoils, the proof of all the fun they'd had. Their date was just about at its end, it seemed to be just at the right moment, really. Definitely. Matsuri-san was just pulling Hina-chan Hina along with her the whole time. Mm. Miyo-san's date was probably the smarter one, don't you think? Megami appeared a little unsatisfied with Matsuri-san's date tactics, but do you think so? I think it looked to me like Hinachan was having plenty of fun in the afternoon as well. You think? Yeah, I think it was a very fitting date for Matsuri-san. That's for sure. Hmm. Their competition will soon be over, then Hinachan will have to pick between her two senpai. I wonder which date Hina enjoyed Hinachan enjoyed more. Well she said neither to Yuna earlier, but obviously that was before the date, so we're gonna see. Welcome back, Hina. Hmm, we're back. Oh, Hina, you've got some sauce on your face. Hmm. Ah, because we were eating fast. We almost ran out of time. Matsuri-chan and Hina-chan had been taking a break on a bench a little little ways away from the auditorium. But while they had been chatting over snacks, 3pm had ra rapidly approached. When they noticed that, they'd hurried to store the remainder of their food in their stomachs, which was why Hina-chan had some leftovers on her face. Wait a moment, huh? Hmm, there. Miyo-san was taking out her handkerchief, but Hina-chan wiped her mouth off the sleeve of her tracksuit sooner. That's bad manners, Hina. Jeez, Matsuri, could you have kept track of the time a little so that you don't have to stuff your faces? I didn't mean to rush or anything, it was just getting a little late, so Hina and I ended up kinda racing each other to finish our food. You're so irresponsible. The final stage for today's con con conquest contest was, was the outer courtyard, a little ways away from the auditorium. Matsuri-chan and Mio-chan turned to face their junior. Well, Hina, how about you give us your verdict? Yes, could you tell us which date was more fun, mine or Matsuri's? Hmm. Hina-chan bounced her gaze back and forth between the two as if thinking carefully. I wonder which Hina-chan will pick. I'm quite curious to hear myself. Mio-san, who made a careful plan to entertain Hina-chan, or Matsuri-chan, who improvised their entertainment on the spot. Which senpai will Hina-chan choose? Will she end up going out with Matsuri-chan or Miyu-chan? I'm curious about them too. Will they truly be able to accept her answer? Kinda intrigued too. Hmm. Well, Hina. Which is it? Hmm. Ah. Hina-chan had been staring hard at the two of them, but her gaze suddenly shifted. Wait a se wait here. Wait here a second, Senpai. Huh? Oh, Hina-chan told them to wait and dashed off. She said toward the entrance hall of the Hoshkan building, where Yuna-san ha just happens to be heading outside. Okay. Okay, so we get Yuna's sight. Why is she dashing, dashing towards her, though? Well, obviously, I kind of expected that she wouldn't choose, obviously. But Mio was okay. Mio was talking more about Matsuri. Matsuri wasn't talking as much about Mio. Well, yeah, because she didn't plan anything, obviously. Hina was running up to me as soon as I left the entrance hall. There's still some time until the school festival's over, but the stands and exhibits are probably only have another hour or so. Then it's just cleaning everything up and and the bonfire. I think that sounds awesome, though. But students who aren't helping with the attractions are allowed to head home early today, like me. Okay, <laughs> touch the bullet. Hina should have just been on her date with Amishima Senpai. Megumi had just come and told me they'd finish. Hina had said earlier that she that we should go home together after her date with her senpai. That's why I was thinking I'd wait for her either here or at the main gate. But. Now that I really look, Hina's not carrying her bag. Does she have to get it from her classroom? 
先輩たちと話してくる。OK。どっちがいいか聞かせてほしいんだって。<笑> But the voice I give, give her, give her doesn't that definitely doesn't fit her. <laughs> I'd known this was,、uh, this this was what her date with dates with Inamoto Senpai and Amishima Senpai today were about. They were both、uh, for Hina to tell them which one she likes better, for her to decide which one she'd go out with. I was stopping Hina from going back before I realized it. Yeah, that's her. And I asked her, what was I going to do after hearing which she'd picked, though? <laughs> totally not. Oh, okay. She just decided. I feel like I'm losing all my energy or something, like I won't be able to move. Alright. She said and she left. Going toward the track, my feet wouldn't budge. Which means we go too. <laughs> well, well, when did these two get here? And they're going to follow Hina again. But they've been doing that the entire time. True. <laughs> I do, but I don't. I wonder why. True. Don't want that. I wonder why. If they go out, one of them will become Hina's girlfriend. Do I want that because they are. Do I not want that because they are all girls? Hina will become someone's girlfriend. Does that mean Hina will be like those other girls, doing the same things those other girls do?、Uh, Hina will. I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. We know that's not the issue, Yuna. We know what the real issue is. <laughs> The two said leaving. At the main gate, I'm gonna be there since I told Hina I would be, but what sort of phase am I supposed to wait with? Anticipation. I don't know another word that sounds similar. Wanted to rhyme a bit. How much time had passed? Ch I checked my phone. I, it hadn't been, even been an, half an hour, but I sw I'd swear it'd been longer. But it was just Nigami and Sachi san who'd returned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get to the fucking point. Spill the beans. Come on, so she'll be here soon. Yes. Come on. What should I do? My heart's beating like crazy. The fuck? I think Sachi san told Megumi that Yuna is into Hina. I'm pretty sure that's why Megumi is teasing her like this. It's hard to breathe, my mouth is all dry. I don't know if I'm really getting the words out, but I want to know. Yeah, I, me too! <laughs> I'm getting into my Yuka pose.、Uh. <laughs> These two should have been listening to her answer. Which one did she pick? In other words, which one is she going to go out with? Is she going to become, an、uh, become Amishima Senpai's girlfriend or Inamoto Senpai's? She fucking knows now. Megumi fucking knows now. Sachi san told her. You fucking. God damn it. Both of them! Or she said she's gonna choose Yuna. Because. Yeah, probably that. Oh, she wants them. She wants Yuna to admit it. Okay. That's what they want. You don't have to tease me like that. I thought may maybe I didn't want to know, but it is really bothering me. It's about Hina after all. <laughs> Fuck. 
fucking really. Something's happening. Just as such sun said, Hina was running over from the entrance hall. I should ask Hina directly what, but I... No, wait a second. Hina will be here in no time. I'm not ready. Alright. Why is this so soothing, everything, all of a sudden? What should I do? What should I ask her? Which one's your girlfriend right now? Which one did you choose? I can't ask her that. Because I don't want to hear about Tina becoming someone's girlfriend. Don't have to. Tina looks the same as ever. No, maybe she's a little out of breath. But she was dashing like crazy. Bring it. The same as usual. She's looking straight out at me. Okay. What is it? She looks a little happy. Why? Why was she... Was she happy with her answer? I'm fucking invested. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. What do I do? I really don't want to hear this. I want to get the heck out of here right now. I don't want to hear from her mouth that Hina loves one of them, whether it is Amishima Senpai or Hinamoto Senpai. I don't want to hear that. Music stop. Yes, yes, yes. What, 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 what? I feel like I'm about to stop breathing. Yes. I want to run away, but my legs won't move. I want to hear it, but Hina's words resound inside my head. Yes. That they so resound clearly. All right. 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 Okay. Woo. Here we go. Okay. Mm. God damn it. I, mm. I, can't, I, I, I sort of knew it. That's why they weren't saying shit. That's why Sachi-san and Megumi were teasing the fuck out of her. That's why it's happening, guys and girls. It's fucking happening. This is... Oh my god, dude. Okay. Whew. It comes through. Hina's voice. One I could never miss here. This is awesome, man. This is fucking awesome. This is... Okay. Okay, game. Alright. I didn't expect it to happen now. I thought it was like the climax. Like, I, I was expecting that maybe at October or something. And actually that she also has feelings back for her is amazing. Let's see. Jesus. We don't get a conclusion, are you kidding me? Alright. Okay. Okay, friends and foes and everyone in between. This is great, but it ca it fucking bothers me that we fucking don't get a fucking conclusion after this thing. God damn, bombs been dropped. God damn, that was a that was amazing, that was amazing. And I I really want I also want to see uh, Matsuri and um like uh Miu and and Miu's uh, reaction to that. I'm fucking speechless, anyways. All right, all right, friends, fucking hype, fucking hyping up. We're fucking hyping up. Next time. Which is gonna be really fucking damn soon, because I want to know the conclusion to this. I want to know- I want to know what Hina said. Uh, uh what Hina. I want to know what Yuna said. I want to know how this thing goes out. I want to know what happens afterwards. Everything. Do we get, um... No, we don't get, um... <laughs> no. We don't get, like, something from... Uh, well, we didn't so far anyways. Like, uh, something from the perspective of Hina. I thought, maybe. Because, you know, that would give us the conclusion of what happened here. Um, okay. This, this is great. 
And I, I mean, we already knew, but we didn't know how, uh, like what Hina's feeling to, to healing. Fe Jesus, what Hina's feelings to towards Yuna were like, if she had any feelings towards Yuna in the first place. But now we know, and it's gonna be interesting. So, next time we go through the different couples, we have Maki and Miki. Yeah, I'm gonna. I want to see her fucking lose her mind again because that was fucking. That was justified and it was amazing. Uh, we get actually outside of the school thing. So now, well, there was still school. I thought maybe we're gonna we're gonna see the the date they were on, but obviously it was during August, so that's afterwards. So we're gonna get uh, Maki and Miki. Um, since they went to the Hoshkan building to their hiding spot, I think um, we get Miu. We get. Oh yeah, this this is this is the one I'm for for the couples that we have. This is the first one on my list because I really want because she Yuka basically said, "Come the fuck on stage." It's gonna be interesting. Confession concert one, uh, obviously Adio San, and then we have the math club and the school festival, which is somewhere um, yeah on the first day of the festival, obviously. So we're gonna see Sono and Kiri, Sono Sensei and Kiri, to the game name. All right. So, yeah, that was it for this session of Kindred Spirits on the Roof. Have a nice rest of your Friday, as per usual, as this obviously airs on Fridays, as we already established. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode, because I fucking did. And I, as I said, I can't fucking wait for the next freaking thing. And one little thing, by the way, before I head off. And, you know, because we are already in September, so there is still some, some stuff left. But I think we are almost at the end of the game. The thing is... I checked on mangagamer.com, which the, which is the developer of this, or the translator, whatever, you know, all stuff Yuri basically is what the site is all about, I think. And um, I saw I, I saw uh, on their page that they have like drama CDs, which one covers the the play that the the radio team was working on, like Nena, Sasa, and uh, Ichikawa. Which is a horror thing, obviously horror themed. Uh, that is available also on Steam, the drama CD for that. And then there was one featuring Ano, Yuna, and Nena. Ano having an, having some girls that admire her, and then Nena is helping Ano out, which is gonna be fucking interesting to look into. That I'm also gonna be playing that already on the wish list. Already, up, I'm gonna purchase that, and we're gonna play through all of the drama CDs too. There is one more. I can't remember which one it was, but I have all of. I think there are four. In total, and after we are done with Kindred Spirit on the Roof, obviously we know we're gonna cover everything this game has to offer, obviously. We are also, after that, we're gonna go into the drama CDs and play through each and every one of those and see what these stories hold. Because, you know, they are probably also just as awesome. Not sure if anyone on YouTube ever covered them. If not, then I'm gonna do it, obviously. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next session of Kindred Spirits on the Roof. Goddamn. I have candle wax on my mouse pad now. Awesome.